So the big question is, are there early warning signs of cancer? In reality, most cancer has no symptoms initially until the later stages. And that is the problem with trying to identify cancer because a lot of the symptoms from cancer could be from a lot of other things, like fatigue, for example, insomnia. Those are two symptoms. So they could be caused by so many other things. Now, there are some symptoms that could be cancer if they're on a chronic nature and they just don't go away. And that would be a chronic sore throat, um, unhealing sores on your body. Uh, but again, these things could be many other uh, issues as well. Blood in the stool, blood in the urine, blood through your nose. But if you have blood coming from the stool, that could be a hemorrhoid. If you have blood in the urine, it could be a kidney stone. If you have a bloody nose, that could be just a sinus issue. Let's say your sinuses are dry. Um, so there's other causes as well. A persistent fever that just doesn't go away means that your immune system is trying to fight thinning off. Um, swollen glands, okay? So if your glands just don't resolve over a reasonable period of time, uh, that potentially could be one symptom of cancer. But again, most of the time, there's no symptoms for cancer. Now, the main thing is you don't want to live in fear. You don't want to worry about, do I have cancer? Do I not have cancer? What you want to do is you want to actively and aggressively avoid cancer. You want to prevent cancer by living healthily. There's a couple things you need to know about cancer. Number one, cancer lives on sugar. It can also live on two different amino acids, okay? Those are building blocks to protein glutamine and glycine, okay? Now, here's the problem. These two amino acids are in pretty much every single food that you eat. So realize this, it's not those amino acids that cause cancer. And so if you are healthy, you don't want to avoid those amino acids in your food. The point I'm trying to make is that once you have cancer, then you want to avoid those two amino acids. Now, how do you do that? One way is intermittent fasting. That way you're cutting down the frequency of consuming those amino acids and that will help. And also fasting in general is very good for uh, preventing cancer. There's a lot of reasons for that. I, I'm gonna put a link down below uh, for more data on that specific point. If you're healthy, you don't have to avoid these amino acids, just avoid the sugar. So if you have cancer, okay, what you could do is you could take all the essential amino acids and just avoid these two because these two are non-essential. You don't need them. In America, cancer is the second leading cause of death. So there are several preventative things that you can do to avoid cancer. Number one, get on a ketogenic diet, reduce your carbs, avoid sugar. Right there, you're gonna starve cancer. You, uh, tumors, for example, cannot live on ketones. So going on a ketogenic diet is gonna be a very, very smart thing. Uh, secondly, you wanna avoid carcinogens, things that cause cancer. That would be GMO foods, that would be radiation, uh, that would be excessive uh, diagnostic testing like CAT scans, for example, or x-rays. The chemicals in the food, start eating organic. There are so many things in our environment that are carcinogens that you really need just to do two things. One, one is minimize damage control, start eating organic. And number two, consume foods that are anti-cancer, that actually dismantle through our enzymes, through our liver, that are called phase one, phase two enzymes that help to turn these poisons into harmless particles. So if you consume a lot of these foods, which I recommend in my eating plan, it's a healthy keto plan, okay? And you do intermittent fasting, you're gonna be in pretty good shape to minimize your potential risk of getting cancer. So the main point of this video is not to live in fear because I believe that is even a trigger for getting cancer, uh, but to actively just live a healthy lifestyle to avoid cancer as long as possible. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hey guys, how do you like my new board, right? No more markers. Man, this is gonna be so great because what I, would have, what I was doing before is basically filling up these markers with ink on a daily basis because they don't last very long. So now I have an awesome board that I can move things around, I can um, bring in PowerPoint stuff. And look at, look at my eraser, check this out. Isn't this cool? Look at that, I love it. No more ink. Still learning how to, how to use this board, but I'm gonna have some fun with it. All right, see you in the next video.
Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide. Major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever wanna know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning, it goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you, within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.